Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiana and this is Tiana's channel. I post every Sunday so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you have not already. Also, if you're a guy, you might want to sit this one out. I don't know, it's up to you. But um, yeah, so today in this video, I wanted to talk about tampons versus cups. I know like when I was first starting to use cups, I don't think there were many videos out there. I've seen videos on how to use cups, but I wanted to see like reviews, how well does it work. So just the tea on using cups versus tampons and just some girl talk, I guess. So my channel is about beauty, hair, fashion, and health related topics. So I'm gonna throw this in with the health because if anything, I do hope you learned something health related today in this video. But other than that, if you guys are interested in watching this, make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned. So many of us are probably already using tampons and have maybe been considering the cup. I know that when I started using the cup, I was like, eh, does it really work? Like, I'm kind of nervous about it. I can't be out somewhere just, you know, bleeding all over the place. But I just decided to just try it. I didn't see many reviews on it at the time. I've been using this for maybe two years now. And I don't think at the time there were many YouTube videos on it and there probably are a lot now I don't know I haven't looked but there's about to be one now so I did just want to tell you guys my experience and some tips if you are thinking about using the cup instead of the tampon I know that there has been some evolution to the tampon there are companies that are coming out with organic cotton like Lola for instance that's a good one but then there are some that are coming out with cups and it's helping people save a lot of money, which is the main reason I wanted to start using it. So I would say that's one benefit of switching to the cup. There is that money saving factor. You don't have to repurchase a cup every single month. You just boil this in hot water to sanitize it and then you're on your way until next month and then you have to pull it out again to use. But tampons, you know, you're repurchasing that or you have a subscription delivered to your door or whatever have you, but you're being charged every single month for that. So I was happy with that. So when I first started using the cup, I was unsure how to use it. I looked at all of the instructions online and I wanted to let you guys know, like on the first try, if you're thinking about using the cup, there's probably like a 10% success rate with using it correctly on the first time. So if you find that you are leaking through everything on the first try, I would say don't give up. Try it again next month and each month I think it will get easier. I think you'll have uh, developed some kind of good application technique and it'll get better. But I would not expect it to work perfectly the first time so I'm just being completely honest and transparent with you based on my experience. And another thing you might see that some say leak proof but I don't know if I would believe that like they be leaking sometimes but that also depends on your flow so if you're someone who is heavier yeah I would definitely wear a panty liner and also the rate of having to change yourself with the cup you can go a little longer so I would say that is another benefit of using it you can go a little bit longer without having to empty the cup and when I say a little longer I don't mean uh, an expensive amount of time like it advertises that you could use it up to 12 hours but I'm, in my experience I don't think that's accurate I would say six to eight hours max but it just depends on your flow and how your body is but I would say that you do have a little bit more time with the cup in between changing yourself so that was another plus so the third thing I would say that's beneficial about using a cup is you don't have to worry as much about the harsh toxins that get emitted into your body like for instance tampons we know some of them have harsh chemicals and just toxins that can go into your body and it's not safe which is why they've come out with more organic tampons organic cotton like Lola like I mentioned earlier but with the cups depending on the kind of cup you get you don't really have to worry about those kind of things I know the one that I have specifically is medical grade silicone so it's pretty safe and it's really durable, it hasn't ripped, it hasn't torn or anything like that. So that is something that I do like about it. So the last benefit that I can think of would be just the way it feels inside of you. And it is bigger than a tampon, so you would expect for it to feel uncomfortable, but it really doesn't. It feels the exact same. Like if you put it in how it's supposed to be, you don't really feel much of a difference. So I would say that's a plus. So next, moving on, as you can probably suspect, it's not all sunshine and rainbows with this product. There are some cons to it, like I mentioned earlier, the leakage. 
sometimes it'll say leak proof but that's not always the case however the leaking is nothing crazy I feel like if you put a panty liner or something there like you'll be fine and also it's not something that happens every single time it's just something that may happen on occasion the next con on my list would be if you are someone who is new to using a cup the removal process can be messy and I'm sure someone has probably told you that already the removal process can be messy but I feel like that's only in the beginning when you have not really developed a technique to carefully remove it from you so once you have that down it's not really a messy process at all anymore like I can do it without any mess at all so I think it's something that you'll just get better at over time this is not something that you will get right on the first time so please hear me when I say that so my last con and definitely the most important con is it's important to know that women who have taken the cups out have experienced where the suction from that cup is bringing down their uterus or just rearranging their organ reproductive organs in some manner and having to surgically get it positioned correctly back to how it was so I would just be careful there are different kinds of cups out there that have a tab where you can break the seal before you pull it out or I would advise that you stick your finger up to break the seal yourself just stick it up push it in and then slide the cup out so as long as you're breaking the suction in some kind of manner instead of just pulling it out I think you will be fine I think they've even started putting that on labels since I've started using it two years ago but yeah that was an issue in the beginning I haven't really heard of any cases like that lately but they may have issued warnings about it so just make sure you're doing a safe removal process as long as you're not allowing the suction to pool on the inside of you you should be fine the cup that I like to use is by a company called flex cup this video is not sponsored by anyone it does come in a little travel bag and then it's just a black cup and then they have different sizes depending on your flow and this loop right here is what you'll pull to break the suction so once you pull it you'll see that the side kind of comes in and then you're able to pull it down so as long as you have something there to break the suction then you'll be fine you may find that there are some cups out there that don't have this pull down thing to break the suction for you before you can slide it out so in that case you would just need to go up the side of the cup with your finger push it in and then you'll be able to slide it out just like that so Either way would work, just make sure you're breaking the suction in some way to have a safer experience. And I was able to get this at Target, I think it was 40 bucks, I don't know. But I think it's worth it because you do save a lot of money over time when using it. So that is my experience with using it, the pros and cons. I'm not trying to push you one way or another, but that's just a realistic review of using the cup so that is pretty much it for this video please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and before you head out make sure to subscribe to my channel I post every single week on this channel about beauty hair fashion and health related topics so make sure you tuned in so you don't miss out other than that I will see you next week bye guys